Hi everybody! And yes, you read it right. I went to Don Don Donkey at 3 in the morning. Or was it 3 at night? For those who don't know, Donkey is a Japanese discount store. And recently they opened a third shop in Hong Kong, which happened to be so close to my home. I wouldn't even pay so much attention to this shop if I didn't notice these giant queues outside it the whole day. The supermarket is open 24 hours a day and even at 11 pm I saw so many people lining up. And it got me thinking, what's so special about this shop that makes people line up outside in the heat? I personally didn't want to stand in the line, but I was still curious to see what's going on. So my solution was to go there at 3 am. So are you ready? Let's go! There are actually some people here as well. Didn't expect that. Oh wow. <laughs> That's insane. Even with kids. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see families with kids there at 3 a.m. Why? Really? And this place looks crazy right from the entrance. Mind you, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. This place is freaking busy, huh? Disclaimer, you might feel brainwashed by this donkey song. I was honestly losing my mind listening to it. I don't know how people work there the whole day, listening to this song on repeat. Oh my god. So let's start with the fourth floor and make our way down. This is the cosmetic floor. <coughs> this song is annoying. <laughs> So, what's that? Hair products. Wow. Okay. Which color should we choose? Mm. Oh, yeah. Is it like uh, washable or it's more permanent? They're all in Japanese, so. Uh, Good luck shopping, right? <laughs> it says temporary, short term. Short term. Oh, that's can... cool. Oh, they have in English. This one. This sticker. That's the problem. The description of majority of products is either in Japanese or Chinese. And they have a little bit of English, but mostly ingredients and safety warnings. So the rest is unknown. Fun shopping. It's been two minutes of shopping. Two minutes of shopping and the song is already driving us insane. Food cool pain patch. Interesting. But they have a lot of Biore. Is it cheaper than usual? That's another question. Yeah, I noticed they have a lot of products that you can actually find in any other shop in Hong Kong. Then what's so special about it? Because I can't really tell, I don't know the prices in other shops. Is it really cheaper? And you also might notice that everything I see in this shop I find either cute, nice or interesting. Um, I guess my brain wasn't fully awake at 3 in the morning and yeah, the only adjectives I could remember were these three. Everything looks very cute and adorable. But so many bright colors at the same time, I'm going crazy a little bit. I don't know what I'm looking at. Very popular, okay, new. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know about you, but I feel a little bit dizzy in this shop. So many products, they're so colorful. A lot of decorations and a lot of signs popping up everywhere from Japan, recommended for you, new, popular. Oh, 
and then this song and animal sounds. Is this how they make people buy more things because you feel disoriented? I don't know, it doesn't work for me because it makes me want to run away as fast as possible. Color lenses, they really like these things. Some makeup. This is crazy, like, I don't know, it's scary. Eyelashes. Makeup. I cannot with this packaging. Why so dramatic? Yay, they clean their ears or whatever they were cleaning, I don't know. Exciting. And who would buy this? Even for the sake of this video, I wouldn't buy any of these unnecessary things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some sports equipment. Oh, this song again. Uh, uh, night silencer? What do you mean? No more snoring. So you're not snoring? Is it working though? What is this? It's like a face... Uh, oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. This one is called... Night mouth guard. Beautiful gesture pro. So you can have a beautiful gesture. Like and gesture. his uh, neo style glasses is everything. We're here to take from you what you Who is that? What is that? Why? 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 But good for traveling. Yeah. So tiny. Ah, oh my god. How do you open? Oh, like this. Yeah. Ah, adorable. So many useful things. Ear cleaner. Wow. Nose hair cutter. Perfect. How can people even find anything here? It's uh, crazy. I cannot focus on any single thing. So many flavors of cat food, which one to choose. And everything is like... I can't read it. So we were choosing the food for the cat, and then the cat had a diarrhea after that. So you be the judge. And we came into a very interesting section. Do you want to look like that? Or maybe some character. That's adorable. <laughs> Is it like adult section or it's... Yeah. But it's not, it's for the kids. Um, it's together with the toys. Like In the middle. Yeah. Sailor. Mm. That's what I want it to be. Oh, yes. What, just a swimsuit? Really? That's a costume? Yeah. I can buy it everywhere. It's so dirty. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, apocalypse happened here. What's that? Uh, ear cleaner again. Okay. Popular, I guess. Toothbrushes. I guess nobody is cleaning anything at 3 in the morning. And this shop looks even crazier with all this rubbish lying around. Looks like an apocalypse. But this year feels like an apocalypse anyway, so... Very expensive. One piece is for 180 dollars. Wow. Must be very amazing. Japanese food can be very expensive, but then they are famous to be very delicious. I guess the price is worth it. It's better be. Yeah, no. I guess 3 a.m. is not the best time to come. 
Oh my god, I'm hungry. Yes. Snack pineapple. So cute. Snack pineapple. <laughs> because it's small. Yeah. Uh, that's cute. Grape. 250 for the grapes. Wow. Of Brazil. So it's from Brazil. Okay. Mm yeah. Why though? I thought the whole big deal with this shop was the fact that everything is Japanese but then this chicken is from Brazil. Doesn't make sense to me. Am I missing a point here? Yeah, quite cheap. What's that? Octopus with the wasabi. Jellyfish salad. Jellyfish salad. Oh. Have you ever tried jellyfish? Oh, yum! Boiled, wow. Boiled octopus for sashimi. Oh my god. Look at that. Ew! <laughs> Salmon? Everything is sold out. Archie. Sea urchin. Sea urchin? Wow. For me, as a person who grew up away from seafood, all these things still feel kind of exotic. Oh, should we have some uh, cup noodles as a breakfast? Because I'm hungry. Soya milk soup with vegetable flavor. Interesting. What's that? Clam chowder flavor cup noodles. Oh wow. Should we try? <laughs> Chicken flavor, boring. This one is soya milk soup. Wow. That looks interesting. So we have more interesting flavors to come. But I don't know what what does it mean? Nissin cup noodle. I think it's just baked. Baked? Curry. Baked curry. Yeah. Curry. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Cheese curry. That sounds good. Smoky and spicy. Oh, Smoky and spicy is. seafood. Curry. I always wanted to make a video trying all these weird flavors of cup noodles. Would you be even interested in that? Asia has a lot of funky flavors of cup noodles. When I was growing up in Russia, we only had like chicken, beef and seafood, I think. So yeah, comment down below. Would you be even interested to see this kind of video? Cherry pasta and rose pasta. Wow, that's interesting. So many different kinds of tea. Oh, the green tea, Japanese tea. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. Like you put it in your pocket and then you have a straw like this, nice and easy and clean. Naughty or nice ice cubes. Okay. Ice coffee maker. Interesting. That's so cute. Those clean that you can make the perfect like the omelet rice. With this oh my god! It's so small and cute. What do they mean by the toothy razor? Of course, explanation is uh, needed. Soft type, hard type. To take out the stain. Interesting. They have in the red color. Oh, that's a toothpick. That's not nice. That's funny. Or tooth tick. <laughs> so if you are tired of like peppermint flavor, <laughs> tropical pineapple. Tropical pineapple, why not? Rose, honey, kiwi, coffee, 
coffee. Seriously. Coffee with milk. Plum wine. Vacation. What does vacation taste like? Wine. Christmas cake. Huh? Mystery. Oh my god, the mystery one. Should we try? Red pepper. Do you want to smell like red pepper? Happy. Love. Ooh, caramel macchiato. What? For you. <laughs> Lemon soda. All right, time to go one floor down. Let's go. It's so dirty at night. After two floors, my enthusiasm started to go down for sure. What? Yeah, rich nuts also. Dessert cheese. Raspberry, cranberry, strawberry, blueberry. Should we try? I'm, 28. I'm just it. Rum and raisins. Rich berry. Keep reminding you have to be in the country. Is that a cheese plant? Well, let's try rum and raisins. Cheese dumplings. Yeah. The food is where we get excited. You see, that's the problem. I can't read what's written on the packaging. It's in Japanese. And I think it said that it was cheese dumplings or something. I don't know what they meant, but I was so disappointed later when I tried them at home because it turns out that these were chicken dumplings with a little bit of cheese. Scam! Mm -hmm. Wow! Most expensive. Wow. 381. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, they're melting your mouth. Wow. Oof. And they also sell a lot of expensive seafood. But would you consider a discount shop that sells so much cheap stuff a place to buy expensive seafood? I wouldn't. Scallop. Well, it's 3 a.m. They better <laughs> make a discount for that. I expect a 7 a.m. Okay? Yeah, all right. We can have like a whole meal. Rice bowl. It's almost 4 a.m. And so many people. I think it's the last floor, so let's see. Yeah, the cashier is already there. Kit Kat with sake flavor. That's interesting to try. Elegant taste of sake. This is a peach one. What is this one? With tea flavor? Wow. Sweet purple potato. Rum raisin. Ocean salt. God, they have so many flavors. Salt lychee. I've seen so many videos of people trying all these weird flavors of Kit Kats and to be honest, I'm so over it. I don't even want to try them for myself. Is it cup noodle flavor chips? Ah, cup noodle! Black pepper crab. Tom Yum Gung flavor. Very How spicy is spicy though? Right? What did you choose? Oh, also with the crab. <laughs> this one is a very strong sour cream. Mm. Strong sour cream? Like, uh, yeah.
we spend one hour here. Wow. Look at all these boxes. It was 4 a.m. We were so hungry, and the best idea was to go to McDonald's. We're gonna get McDonald's. We're gonna get McDonald's. We're gonna get McDonald's. Ooh. Donkey! Dun dun dun! Donkey! We only spent an hour in Donkey, but it feels like an eternity. I still don't understand what the hype is all about and why so many people line up there every day. Maybe because this year is so uneventful, you know what I mean? Everything is cancelled, nowhere to go, so might as well go to Donkey and have some wild shopping. I don't think that I would go there ever again. So what do you think about this supermarket? Tell me in the comments down below. I'll see you soon. Bye!